Hello everybody and welcome to Jamaroo Kids Circle Time. I am Teacher Jamaica and today we're going to be talking about community helpers. But first, let's start with hello. Can you get out your hands and wave hello? Hello everyone. I'm so glad to see you. Hello everyone. I hope you're doing swell. It's time, it's time, it's time for Jamaroo. We'll sing and dance and read a story too. Cover your eyes. One, two, three. Pick a boo. Good morning, friends. We are going to get out our arms and we're going to say good morning to the earth and the sun. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning to the trees and the flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear bees. What do the bees say? Bzzz. And the birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning. Good morning. It is so good to see all of you today. Here at Jamaroo Kids, one of the ways we like to start out our day is with a little bit of morning gratitude. So we're gonna take a big breath in through our nose. We're gonna breathe out through our mouth. What is another word to breathe in through our nose, friends? Did you say inhale? You were right. We can inhale and we can exhale. We're gonna close our eyes and we are gonna visualize. We're gonna think about the things that make us feel so happy and grateful inside. Are you ready? Here we go. Open up your eyes and tell whoever you're with today what it is that you're feeling grateful and thankful for. Maybe it is having your mom or dad there with you today or your sister, your brother. Maybe you played a really fun game. Maybe you had a nice bath with bubbles. Maybe you had a really yummy dinner. Maybe the sun is shining so beautiful this morning. There are so many things to be grateful and thankful for. And it's nice to think about those things and help us start our day in a positive way. We are gonna practice our days of the week. Are you ready? What is the first day of the week? It's Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we start again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we start again. There are seven days in the week. There are seven days in the week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. Good job, friends. What is today where you are right now? What day of the week is it? I'm not sure what day you're watching this video, but I can tell you what, it's a Jamaroo day because you're here with me today and that makes me really happy. So I'm excited to start the day with you. We are gonna be talking about community helpers today. Community helpers are so important. Can you think of some community helpers? There are so many, like nurses and doctors and teachers and police officers. So many people that help our community function and stay healthy and safe. So we're gonna talk about some community helpers and we're gonna start with a book. Today we're gonna to be doing a book and the title is Bear at Work and it's written by Stella Blackstone and it's illustrated by Debbie Harder. Do you remember what the word illustrated means? That means that's who drew the pictures, who made all the beautiful artwork for the book. 
and the author is the person who writes the words in the book that we're going to read. Do you want to read this book together and learn about some of the community helpers? Let's do it. It says, Fair at work, as busy as can be, bringing lots of surprises to you and to me. What do you think Bear is? Do you think he's a mailman? I think so. He has postcards for the florist and letters for the baker. He's delivering the mail. The florist is the person who makes beautiful flower arrangements. And the baker is the person who bakes bread and cake and cupcakes and looks like bagels or donuts and muffins and scones and croissants. All of those really yummy things to eat. He has cartons for the corner shop that sells the morning papers. He has cartons. It looks like they're cartons of milk. What kind of milk do you think it could be? It could be cow milk or soy milk, or almond milk, or oat milk, or it could be, what other kinds of milk do we have? It could be goat milk, did I say goat milk, soy milk, almond milk, all sorts of things, cashew milk. You can make milk out of a lot of different things. Most people drink cow milk, but not everybody can because some people are allergic to cow milk. Teacher Jamaica is allergic to cow milk, so I drink almond milk. What do you think is happening at the store? It looks like there's all sorts of things you can buy at that store. That's another community helper, someone who works at the stores. He strides past every home and house, stopping here and there. He's bringing the mail to everyone. This person's wearing a construction hat. I think he's a builder. He's building a home. Construction workers are also community helpers. He brings books to the librarian across from the market square. The librarian has a very important job. Do you like to go to the library? I love to go to the library. The librarian is the person who works at the library. She is also a community helper. He steps inside the cafe where he has a cup of tea. The waiters and the waitresses are also community helpers. They're bringing the postman a cup of tea. Maybe he is taking a break from all of his hard work. At school, he gives a package to the children in the room, in room three. That's classroom number three. There's the teacher. The teacher is a very important community helper. What do you think this package is? It's an interesting shape. Maybe it's a rocket ship. He has letters for the farmer who has recently been wed. Oh, look, there's the farmer and his wife, and they have some sheep. Farmers can have animals, but farmers also can plant crops. So farmers are very important community helpers because we get all sorts of stuff from farmers, like eggs and milk. We also get things like wheat and grain and fruit and nuts and all sorts of things that they can grow on their farm. It looks like this farmer has sheep and some cows. We can get milk from the cows. What do we get from sheep? <gasps> Wool. That's important because we can use that to make clothing. He even has a present for the little bear in bed. <gasps> I think this bear is a little sick. It looks like this bear may be at the hospital. Who works at the hospital? Doctors and nurses. At last, his sack is empty. Bear's working day is done. He'll be out again tomorrow, working hard and having lots of fun. He's gonna relax a little bit now. He looks like he's gonna have a nice evening by the fire with a blanket and his kitty cat. Bear at work, can you spot these working bears in the story? <gasps> what would you like to do when you grow up? So we have a florist, a baker, a builder, a shopkeeper, a librarian, a waitress, a doctor, a teacher, a postman, and a farmer. What am I? 
What job do I have? I'm a teacher. That's why you call me Teacher Jamaica. I am a teacher. So these are the community helpers. There's a couple community helpers we didn't talk about in this book. Like we didn't talk about the bus drivers or the police officers or the park rangers or the firefighters. I think it would be fun to sing a couple songs about some community helpers. So let's start with singing a song about firefighters. Firefighters are very important. And we're gonna get out some bells because often when you have a fire truck, there's bells in the fire truck. Are you ready? You can sing ding, 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 ding. Can you sing that? Ding, 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 ding. Let's try it. We're gonna pretend like we're a firefighter. We have to put on our big helmet that protects our head and our big clothes that is fire resistant. So then that way we don't get burns on our body because that would really hurt, right? Okay, safety first. Are you ready? Here we go. Get on the fire truck, let's find the fire. Get on the fire truck, let's find the fire. Get on the fire truck, let's find the fire. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now sometimes the fire trucks have to go very, very fast because they have to get to the fire quickly. So we're gonna go really fast. Get to the fire, let's put it out now. Quickly, quickly, gotta put it out now. Quickly, quickly, gotta put it out now. Ding, 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 ding. When we get to the fire, how do we put out the fire? We need to get out our hose. Can you get out your big long hose? Pretend like your arm is a hose. Got to the fire, gonna put it out now. Got to the fire, gonna put it out now. Got to the fire, gonna put it out now. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now we're gonna get back in our fire truck. We put out the fire, let's go back now. Put out the fire, let's go back now. Put out the fire, let's go back now to the station. Ding, ding, ding. When we get to the station, we're a little bit tired. It's a lot of work to put out fires. Are you ready? We got to the station, gonna have supper. Got to the station, gonna have some supper. Got to the station, gonna have some supper. Ding, 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 ding. That's so nice. So the nice thing about a fire station is the firefighters they sometimes sleep at the fire station and they have their meals together and they cook together and it's kind of like a family away from home because they stay there so that when there's a fire they can get to the fire very very quickly to keep our community safe isn't that so nice they have an important job another important job is to be a bus driver or a ferry driver or a bark driver or a train driver those are all very important because we need to be able to get from one place to another, right? And so I think we may know a song about a bus. Do you know a song about a bus? Mm, I bet you do. How about the wheels on the bus? Do you know that song? You know that song? Yeah? Can we sing it? Get out your wheels. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. What do the windows do, friends? Do they go up and down? The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back. Please move on back. Please move on back. The driver on the bus says, please move back. All through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. You sing beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All through the town. The babies on 
the bus go where 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 the babies on the bus go where 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 all through the town the mommies on the bus go shh 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 the mommies on the bus go shh 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 all through the town the daddies on the bus say please sit down please sit down please sit down the daddies on the bus say please sit down all through the town the grandmas and the grandpa say i love you i love you i love you the grandmas and the grandpa say i love you all through the town yay there are so many community helpers so what i would love for you to do for your homework assignment today is I would love for you to ask your mom or your dad, do you have any community helpers that are your friends or your family? Like maybe you have an uncle that's a police officer or a firefighter or a garbage man or a garbage woman who picks up the garbage or the recycling. Or maybe you have an aunt or an uncle who own a little corner market where you can find vegetables and fruit. There's so many different things you could find in the community. So ask your mom and dad if you have any family friends or if you have any family that is a community helper. And then maybe you could give them a call and thank them for helping to make our community safe and healthy and happy and a great place to live. We hope that you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again at Circle Time tomorrow. Let's get out our hands and wave goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, we had some fun today. It was so nice to laugh and sing and play. We sang some songs and we danced. Now it's time to get our stamps. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. I hope you had some fun with Jamaroo. Give yourselves a round of applause. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thanks for coming to Jamaroo, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.